Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. What V want? A technology vlog for how to videos, tips, reviews, and many more. Do you want to clone smaller HDD to larger SSD? Then this tutorial is for you. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to clone smaller HDD to larger SSD using disk partition tools. Without any delay, let's get start. Number 1. EasyUS Partition Master. Download and install EasyUS Partition Master from its official site. Check the description for the link. First connect the SSD to your laptop or PC. Open the EasyUS Partition Master application. The disk information will appear on the screen. Select the source disk. Give a right click on it. Pick the clone option. You can also find the clone option at the top and right of the partition window. Clone window will pop up on the screen. Choose the target disk and click on next. It warns you that it delete all the information in the target disk. Click on continue. Source and target disk layout will be displayed on the screen. Click on the down arrow beside the target disk layout. You will find three different options like auto fit the disk, clone as the source, and edit disk layout. Select the one you want to customize the target disk layout. Finally, click on proceed. That's it. It starts the cloning process. It takes some time based on the data in the target disk. Number 2. AOMEI Partition Assistant. Download and install AOMEI Partition Assistant. Check the description for the link. Launch the application. Click on All Tools option, and select the Disk Clone Wizard option from the list. A Disk Clone Wizard window will pop up on the screen. You will find two different options on the screen. One is Clone Disk Quickly that allows you to clone only used space to another disk and adjust the size of partitions. Another one is Sector by Sector that allows you to clone all sectors to another disk including the free space. Select the option that you want. Here I am selecting the Clone Disk Quickly option. Click on Next. In the next window select the source disk that you want to clone, and click on Next. Now select the destination disk, and click on Next. A prompt will appear on the screen. It says that the process delete all the data in the destination drive. Click on Yes to continue the process. In the Edit Disk window, you will find disk clone options like Clone without resizing partition. Fit partition to entire disk, and edit options on this disk. Select the one you want and click on Next. The operation will add to the pending state. Finally, click on Apply option. That's it. Number 3. Minitool Partition Wizard. Download and install Minitool Partition Wizard from its official site. Check the description for the link. Open the Minitool Partition Wizard application. Select the disk that you want to clone. Select the Clone option from the right side panel. Now select the target drive and click on Next. A warning message will prompt on the screen. Click on Yes to continue the process. You will find different partition options on the screen. Select the one you want. Click on Next. Finally, click on the Apply option to execute all the changes. That's it. Number 4. McCrory Partition Expert. Download and install the McCrory Partition Expert from its official site. Check the description for the link. Open the McCrory Partition Expert application. All the disk information will be displayed on the screen. Select the source disk, and click on the clone disk option on the left side. A new window will appear on the screen. Select the destination disk, and click on next. A warning message will appear on the screen. Enable the delete all partitions on the destination disk, and click on the next option. Make sure that you have backed up all the important data from the destination disk before going to clone the disk. Clone Disk Wizard will appear on the screen. Customize the disk with the specific size and location as your wish. And click on Next. Finally, click on the Commit option to complete the cloning process. That's it. Now let's see how to transfer OS to new hard drive. First connect or install new SSD to PC. If you are using a PC, you have as many ways to connect a second SSD to your computer. You can install the SSD along with the old HDD in the same device. Connect the SSD via a SATA to USB cable to your device. Use an external hard drive enclosure for a connection. If you are using a laptop, then check for the SSD slot, or prefer to use the last two ways from the above list. Next transfer OS to new hard drive. 
EasyUS Partition Master is the stunning application to migrate Windows 11 to new disk. Download and install the EasyUS application from its official site. Link is provided in the description. Launch the EasyUS Partition Master application. You will find all the disk information on the screen. Tap on Migrate OS option. The Migrate OS window will appear on the screen. Select the destination SSD or HDD. Click on Next. A warning message will prompt on the screen. Check it once and click on Continue. Source and target disk layout will be displayed on the screen. Click on the down arrow beside the target disk layout. You will find three different options like auto fit the disk, clone as the source, and edit disk layout. Select the one you want to customize the target disk layout. Finally, click on proceed. That's it. For more information, visit our article. Link is provided in the description. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if it is helpful for you. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon to turn on notifications.